So this is a very interesting find the area question. Let's have a look. We are given that the area of the rectangle here is equal to 96. And we know that from here to here is 5 and from here to here is 8. And our goal is to find the area of the shaded triangle. So at first, you might be thinking, we do not have enough information. But let me tell you, we have just the right amount of information to figure this out. So as always, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay. So I actually did this on the other day, but the method was not the easiest. Here has to be the easiest method that I'm going to demonstrate. So at first, let's create more triangles. And how though? Well, how about let's just go ahead and make a horizontal cut like this. Okay, but that doesn't really do us any good because um, if you look at the top rectangle, the shaded region is not half of the rectangle, right? Uh, it's like we are missing this. You can also make the cut and you can say this and that like just like ratio is one to one, right? So that's okay, but hmm. But how about let's do the following? Mm, let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to kind of fill this in. And if I do so, let me just put this down right here. If I do so, okay, then I can have that part and that, you know, it's like half and half of the rectangle. But if you look at the shaded region here, is this half of the bottom rectangle? No. But how can we make it though? Check it out. We have from here to here already, and this is a triangle. But what if I create a triangle like this from here to here? So as you can see, this top portion is half of the top half rectangle. And then the bottom portion, this triangle here, it's also half of the bottom rectangle. Yes? Yes. So as you can see, the region in black and the region in red, they are just half of the 96. So firstly, we can just do 96 divided by 2. And again, this is this plus that. Now, is it possible for us to figure out the red part though? Because we do know the base, which is the same as the 5 right here. And we also know the height from here to here is 8. Right, this is the height of this triangle. So I'll just put this down. So all we have to do is take the black and red, which is 96 over 2, and then just go ahead and minus. This triangle is just 5 times 8, and divided by 2. Base times side divided by 2. That's what? That's 30, no, that's 48 minus 20, right? 40 divided by 2. So altogether we get 28. That's it. And if you would like, unit square, whichever unit that you are talking about. So this right here has to be the easiest way to solve this question. 